Good morning. We are here to do the Sunday school lesson for Abraham and Sarah. Who can tell me what is in the night sky? Taylor. Um, stars and the moon. Very good. Can you tell me a few things that you know about stars and constellations? Oh, I know a couple names of constellations. Go ahead. The big dipper and the little dipper. Good job. And I bet a lot of our friends at home know some constellations too, right? Yep. Okay. Raise your hand if you can count. Great. So I need your help with something. I'm going to show you a picture of stars. And I need you to help me count them. See this picture of the stars? Okay, ready? Can you help me count them? Can you help me count them? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Very good. See, it is impossible to count all of the stars because there are just too many. We have a great story today about Abraham and Sarah. I want you to listen carefully to see if you can tell what part stars play in the story. All right, go ahead, Taylor. Can you read for us? God's promise to Abram. 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 Or Abraham, yeah. God, God came to Abram and made a promise. Abram, you are, you are very special to me. I will take care of you and give you lots of children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But Abram asked God many times, Are you sure? I don't have any children yet. God thought Abram needed something more to help him understand. So God took Abram outside and showed him the night sky. Your family will include as many people as there are stars in the sky. God told Abram. Abram star stared up at all of the stars. He couldn't begin to count all of those twinkling stars. Lights, twinkling lights. A twinkling lights. Stars, wait, stairs? Stars. Stars and stars and stars. All around him, Abram looked up at the stars and saw God at work. Abram believed in God. Now for another promise, said God to Abram, you will need need a place for your for your huge family to live. I will give you this land as I promised. Are you sure, God? Abram asked again. God made a covenant covenant with Abram. I promise that Abram I promise that Abram would become a father and a grandfather and a great grandfather and a great great grandfather and a great 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 grandfather <laughs> and on and on and all abram's all abram's many many sons daughters grandsons and granddaughters would live with god in the land god in the land on which Abram, Abram stood. Thank you, Taylor. Let's show everybody the pictures from the story so they can find Squiggles. <laughs> Does everybody see where Squiggles is? Point him out, T. There he is. Let's show them Squiggles on the next one. Peyton, do you see Squiggles? There he is. <laughs> All right. Thank you for reading that story, Taylor. How many stars are there in the sky? Um, <laughs> there are so many, right? Okay. 
Scientists still don't know for sure. They even keep discovering new ones. What was God telling Abraham when God compared the stars in the sky to his family? Um, that he's going to have a really, really big family. Yep, yeah, that's right. What happens when all of those stars are in the sky and there are no clouds? The sky is very bright. It's really bright. Yep, those are the best nights. When all of us shine, we light up the world too. God's light is bright like stars in the sky. All right, so we are going to show you how to play a little game. We have a stuffed star, but you can play this with anything. You can play this with a, a little stuff, yeah, a stuffed animal, a pillow. a pillow, anything you want. And it's kind of like hot potato. So what we're going to do is play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And you can play any song you want. And we will pass it back and forth. And when the music stops, we are going to, whoever has the star, will share something that they are grateful for and one of the blessings that God has given them in their life. Do we still get the sale one? Can you crisscross applesauce? All right. So we're going to play the game. Can you ask Nan to come down here? Sorry, friends at home, we're just getting set up for our game. All right. We have our DJ here now. <laughs> okay, ready? So we're going to pass. Pay 10. We're going to pass the star around. Okay. Wait till the music starts. Go ahead. Pass it to mommy. Wait until the music stops. Mommy has it. So I'm going to say a blessing in my life. A blessing in my life are my two beautiful girls. Okay. Listen, pass the star. Mommy has another one. So another blessing in my life is my dog and my two cats. They bring me so much joy. Go, go, go. Peyton the star. Who is it? Who has it? Me! Peyton. Okay. Can you share a blessing in your life? Um, my water bottles and my mm. mommy. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Thank you. What's a blessing in your life, Taylor? Um, my two cats, Clark and Peter. Your two cats, okay. All right, very good. So we're going to stop there, but you can keep playing this on and on and on at home as much as you want and talk about all of the blessings in your life that God has given you. And we're going to close with a prayer. Can we have our praying hands ready? Dear God, Dear God. you have created all of us as shining stars. You have created us. All of us as shining stars. We want to bring your light. We want to bring your light to the world. To the world as descendants of Abraham. As descendants of Abraham. Let your light shine through us. Let your light shine through us. Thank you for creating. Thank you for creating Peyton. And thank you for creating Taylor. Taylor. And thank you for creating all of you at home. Amen. Good morning, boys and girls. Mr. Adam here in my music room in my house and this Sunday we're celebrating something called baptism of our Lord and this is when we remember that when Jesus was baptized by John and um, some of you might be baptized or some of you might have brothers or sisters that have been baptized and you know when we're baptized God claims us as God's children, which is just great, um, because that means God is always going to love us no matter what, no matter what we do. Um, so I was thinking about songs about baptism and water, and I thought, ooh, I have a really good one. 
So I'm going to teach you the refrain because it comes back every time after every verse. And there's also a little part that happens in every verse. Uh, so you'll catch on to that really quick. So the song is Wade in the Water and the refrain goes like this. Wade in the water, wade in the water, children, wade in the water. God's a gonna trouble the water. You wanna try it? Let's try it together. Wade in the water, wade in the water, children, wade in the water. God's a gonna trouble the water. Nice job. You get a lot of chances to sing that. So then there's a part that happens in the verse, and we, it actually is part of the refrain. It's the God's a gonna trouble the water. That happens a bunch during the verses too, okay? If you're not sure what to do, just do your best, and I bet you'll catch on. So let's sing it, Wade in the Water. song. I hope you're having a great week and a good year, and we'll see you next week. Bye!